Are you ready? The members of uh, the press, this is uh, Azimio Center, and um, I would like on behalf of members of Azimio to say a few things about uh, today. Uh, we had called our supporters and clients in general. Uh, to come out in the numbers and show displeasure at the way in which um, affairs of our country are being run. There are major issues of cont in contention here. One is the cost of living. Two was the issue of uh, formation of the Independent Electoral Commission uh, uh, co commissioners. Three was the issue of electoral justice, including auditing of the server. Four was the issue of interference with the opposition political parties, which are members of the Admiral Coalition. These are the issues in contention. I want to take this opportunity to thank Kenyans throughout the country who heeded our call and turned up in large numbers to express themselves uh, in a way that they, they could. Information that we have is that the protests are successful countrywide. Most of major towns, and almost most of the counties, there were people who turned up and expressed their displeasure at the way things are being had, uh, done in our country. Therefore, we are very grateful to them, and we want them to stay tuned, because this is just but the beginning of a long struggle, which will end up, obviously, in victory for the people of our country. Those three issues in contention are not negotiable. One is the issue of the cost of living and the punitive tax measures which have been introduced by this regime. Kenyans already are suffering seriously. The other issue is the equation of formation of an independent electoral commission. We have understood from the Kenya Kwanza Brigade that they want to go ahead and form the commission on their own. I want to make it very clear that if they do so, that is going to be basically a Kenya Kwanza commission. And we will, as a me, also go ahead and form our own commission. Secondly, we have also said that uh, the people of Kenya have a right to picket, to demonstrate, to uh, petition. And that is what we are doing right now. Uh, we have said also that um, this is a right enshrined in our constitution. The constitution also says at Article 1, that the sovereignty in the Republic of Kenya is vested in the people of Kenya. And the people can either exercise it directly or through their elected representatives. Today we have launched the, 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 the movement to collect signatures from Kenyans so that they can say that they are withdrawing their, uh, their delegation of powers to the elected leaders and taking it to themselves. It is the first in the history. We know that the authors of our constitution did not put that particular article in vain. 
and we are going to evoke that article to delegitimize this regime. We will collect signatures from Kenyans, and I've said we will also form an electoral commission, and we will carry out a referendum to delegitimize this regime. Then the other one is the issue of auditing of the servers. The rest is now history. We will not allow Jubilee, I'm uh, sorry, Kenya Kwanza to kill constituent parties of Azimio. Therefore, and by once again thanking Kenyans for remaining steadfast and tell them stay tuned. Thank you very much. Now, my colleague, Governor uh, Mangiwairia from uh, Moranga County is going to make some remarks. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. Uh, it was a long day, but a good day for Kenyans. Uh, today was a reminiscent of uh, what happened over 30 years ago. It brought me the picture of uh, our Fred, our leader Laila Odinga, Kenneth Matiba, Charles Rubia, and the other pioneers of Kenya's second liberation. We all thought that we've taken about 30 democratic, positive democratic steps since that time. But unfortunately, today it was demonstrated that we are still stuck back there. The way Matiba was treated, the way Raira was treated, the way Rubia was treated, was no different from the way we were treated today. The gains which we had accumulated has just been swept away. We started off the day peacefully. We picketed peacefully, but they confronted us right at the start. With the tear gas, we don't know what the cause was, but that demonstrates to us that this is a regime which is 30 years behind. Worst see, the, the, the worst part of it is that when we go to the city, I was with Baba in his vehicle. And we were actually confronted with live bullets. The same log policeman who did it to Baba the other day was on site. He was fully hooded and he looked like a terrorist. We took videos and through Baba, we are going to ensure that we pursue that attempted murder. Because the law policeman was surrounded by others, some on horse tops, and they were ready to kill Baba. You can actually observe the vehicle there. It has a wide bullet hole behind and on the sides. So we are actually dealing with demons, people who are ready to spill blood, bloodthirsty animals. But we want to tell them that that has just embodied us. We are stronger than we are. And I also want to announce that this war is a national war. 90% of Kenyans are behind us. I have received calls from Mount Kenya and they are asking us, when are you coming here? We want to announce that we are coming home to Mount Kenya and they are actually more willing than anybody else because they are the worst hit by the increased cost of living. We are business people and our people, all our business, businesses are on action. Lastly, I want to tell everyone that this process of signature collection is a national process and is a volunteer process. Within your small circle, pick the forms and have them signed and get connected to Azimio, bring the forms. It's very purely volunteer. Within your circles, mama borders, chamas, matato operators, border borders, pick forms and return the forms to us because that will be your voice. Lastly, as we go forward, we know that we are all dead down economically. 
we want to urge Kenyans not to donate any more money to this regime. We want to urge Kenyans to actually even buy whistles. Everyone should have a whistle. When you have someone wanting to extract more money from you, just blow up the whistle. Alert your neighbors. In the marketplaces, mama borrowers, you are promised heaven. All mama borrowers, all market people should have whistles. When you have those white, uh, uh, yellow, uh, coated, kabuti people, blow whistles, they'll be stealing from you. When someone come to disconnect your power, blow a whistle, he's stealing from you. When someone comes to disconnect your water, blow a whistle, they are stealing from you. We are not ready to donate any more blood to them. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, back to Baba. Mm. Or direct to our majority. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, as we had indicated from the outset, today we are simply but the beginning of this new wave of civil disobedience and mass action. And following the resounding success that has been registered across the country, we wish to announce that we are going to continue in this journey. We are going to continue and come next week, the 12th of July 2023, that is Wednesday. We are going to have even more serious demonstrations across the country. We are going to have massive demonstrations across the country. And in Nairobi, those demonstrations are going to be, pre be preceded by a massive public rally at Kamkunji. At Kamkunji. And let me say this, that the role of the police in this matter is simply to provide security to the peaceful demonstrators and assemblers. We are not giving a notice as a way of seeking permission from anybody, least of all the police. So stop wasting time with those baseless proclamations that you continue to make every other day. We don't need those proclamations from the police. We have simply notified you that come the earliest day, the whole country will come to a standstill as Kenyans of all walks of life participate in massive demonstrations in every width and breadth of the country. And this is going to continue until the end. There is no stopping in this journey. Thank you very much. God bless. Thank you. I think that's all. And uh, I want to request only camera persons to come out, the, out here because you'll be shown the extent that the police have done. Well, just the... one second. Nungependa kwa niyaba ya wanazimio zote kuchukua fursa hii kutua shukrani zetu zote kwa wa Kenya kila mahali ambayo walijitokeza siku ya leo wakaitikia wito wetu na wakafanya maandamano ya kiamani ili tuweze kutekeleza ili uh, masla hitu na wambia wa Kenya shukrani sana tume hii hii Vita itaendelea. Hii mapambano bado itaendelea. Na wikijayo bile mitangazwa hapa na bwana wandai, tutakuwa tena wanjani siku ya jumatano. Shukran sana. Okay, remain seated please. Let only camera persons come out, please. Wengine muketi. And please pave way, wanainji tafadhali to songi. Let us give, let us give. Let us give. Let us give. 
Baba, 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 baba,